All right, so we're going to look real quickly at if, what we would do to rewrite addition as subtraction or subtraction as addition. And we're going to be working with integers. So you can see on the left-hand side right here, we've got um, some examples of some addition and some subtract subtraction problems. I'm going to do a quick example of if we were to be um, modeling those or, or sort of drawing models using algebra tiles. There's other videos you could watch on how that works. But So if I have 7 plus 3, I'm going to draw uh, 7 positives. Okay, I'm going to just be using filled in for positives. So we've got 6, 7 right there. And if I'm drawing 3 negatives, I'll draw 3 empty boxes. And then remember, anytime you have a pair, those cancel out. So 7 plus negative 3 is equal to positive 4. If I had 7 minus 3, again, I would draw 7 boxes here. Seven. And if I'm taking away 3, again, that's 7 minus positive 3. I can actually just cross out 3 of those positives. 1, 2, 3. We could see that also equals 4, which shows us that these two things are linked. They basically mean the same thing. If I had 7 minus negative 3, again, that's a positive 7 we're starting with. So we're going to start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 and I want to take away three negatives, I can see there are not three negatives available for me to cross out. So I'm going to add three pairs. So we've got positive and a negative, positive and a negative, and a positive and a negative. All right, and we can see that then we, now if we want to take away three negatives, right, we can cross out those three negatives, um, and we wind up with an answer of positive 10. If we had 7 plus 3, that's just 7 positives. A little sloppy, five, six, seven, and we just add three more positives, one, two, three, and so we can see that also equals 10, which again shows us that these two are linked. So this is really important to understand, again, that, that these ones are the same as these ones, and these ones are the same, because that's going to allow us to then use these steps, okay? So here would be sort of our steps down here as examples um, if we are doing addition to subtraction and back and forth. Um, so we get right equation or expression one is it's turned into subtraction in, in expression two, and expression three was turned into addition um, in expression four. So basically, step number one: keep the first number the same. Um, and we'll we'll look at a quick example right here. Let's say I had uh, eight plus negative three. So if I'm following these steps right here, uh, I'm going to do 8 plus negative 3. I'm going to keep the first number the same. So if I'm rewriting it, um, I could rewrite that. It says 8 stays the same. It says change the operation to its inverse. So that means if I have addition, I'm going to change it to subtraction like this. Or if I have subtraction, I'm going to change it to addition. Um, and then, so if I'm going back over here, I had 8, keeps the first number the same, change the operation to its inverse, so it turns into subtraction. And then step 3, change the second number to its opposite. So in this situation, if we have negative, it's turning into a positive, or positive, it's turning into a negative. So up here I had negative 3, so the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. So 8 plus negative 3 and 8 minus positive 3, those are both going to be equal to the same thing. 8 minus 3 is 5, and if I were to draw everything out, I would know that this is also equal to 5. Um, if we want to do a, another quick example, so I'll say that's example 1. Example 2, if I had something like 4 minus 2, we know that's going to equal 2 as an answer, but if we wanted to rewrite that as an addition problem, Step one, keep the first number the same. So four stays as four. Positive four stays as positive four. Step two, change the operation to its inverse. So the opposite of subtraction is addition. And then step three, change the second number to its opposite. So we were subtracting positive two. So the opposite of positive two is going to be negative two. And then these would equal the same thing. So again, this is just a way that we could rewrite um, addition as subtraction or subtraction as addition.